Steve said 316 always was talking about the Israelites. It was only the Israelites. But you thought it was the whole world. It was not the whole world. It was the world of the Israelites. Listen, here's the question. Here's my question. Sister, all you gotta do is just be patient. Hold on, let me give me a Bible scripture that proves Jesus Christ taught all races of people. Don't you just think what you just said, they always say that in America. So I want everybody to listen good. We're gonna give you the real understanding of John chapter 3, verse 16. Oh Jesus. What did Jesus Christ say in John chapter 3 verse 14? Yes, sir. Oh, gee, if you don't know, just say, I don't know. Wait, 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 listen. Wait, wait, let me tell you. I want to go on out loud. Yes, wait. We got a Bible for you. We got a Bible for you. We, you try to run? No, don't leave, OG. OG, we got the Bible for you. You try to run. Somebody find me. I'm in your hood with bishops and deacons and captains and angels and armies behind me. I U I C is moving at top speed. You see a dome, I see my assign. See, leave us alone. You scheming like Ponzi. Ruins his back. They screaming out finally. Whole lot of roughnecks head made a flint. Devil must flee. I don't care where you went. Blood in these streets, red tin on the tent. Now I'm gonna show you another scripture that you learned wrong. Pastor, you learned I bring to you 10 most evil African pastors 2024. Number 10, Pastor Blinks. A man who is a Ghanaian preacher, popularly called Pastor Blinks, is a skit maker and claims to be a pastor. And he said he was anointed from on high with supernatural powers and also that he was charged with a unique and singular assignment, which is to attend the hygienic need of his female church member. And he was seen touching the private parts of his member. And he also told them to drink from the water he used to bath. In fact, this man that called himself a pastor also bathes his church member in a basin saying that it's to cleanse them from evil spirits. Can you imagine? He also appeared in a video posing as a pastor and praying for a woman's underwear. Okay. 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 Oh, whoa, man. You said a whole lot. Ochi? Ochi, listen. Ochi, listen. You said it don't matter about color. It's about his message. So, Ochi, that's what the white man taught. You said, oh, what the white man taught. Ochi, I'm going to show you what your brothers teach. Watch this now. Give me Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 4. So you say he came to die for our sins, right? Here's my question to everybody. Who were the laws of God given to? Who? You say his son? Who were the laws of God given to? The world. The world? Okay. When Moses was reading the laws of God, who was around Moses? What people? Was that the world? The Israelites. But, but, but was that the world or was it the Israelites? That was the Israelites. So was the law given to the world or to the Israelites? It was to the Israelites. Very good. Let's start right there. Let's start right there. I don't want to lose you. Stay right there before the white man come back in your head. Wait, wait. I don't want the white man. Wait, wait, wait. OG, OG. 
Yeah, I, I don't mean. want the white nigga to try to come back. You doing good. You doing good. Isaiah chapter two. The, remember when we came out of Egypt, the Israelites was around Moses, and what did he give them? Ten what? Commandments. Was it to everybody or the Israelites? Very good. Read this. The book of Isaiah chapter two, verse four. You shall judge among the nations. Let's read verse. Yeah, five. Verse 5. Oh, house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the life of the Lord. Watch this. In the life of the Lord, go on. Therefore, thou shalt for, die, I forsake my people, the house of Jacob, uh -huh. because they be banished from the east, and a sophomore let the fantasy and the plea itself in the judgment of strangers. So now, the judgment of strangers, I want you to see something. The Israelites were around Moses. Okay, now I want you to read verse 2. Thank you. Read verse 2. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2. Moses is around. The Israelites are around him. He gives the Israelites ten commandments. Now watch what Isaiah says. Isaiah 2 and 2. The book of Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 2. And they shall Started verse... Yeah, 2 is good. The book of Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. Now read verse 3. Watch this. And many people shall go and say, The come, many people the Israelites read, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob. To the house of God of everybody? Of Jacob. The God of everybody? Of Jacob. The God of all races? Of Jacob. Read. And he will teach us of his ways. And he will teach us his ways, read. And we will walk in his path. For the ways of for the ways of Zion shall go forth of the Lord. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And the what? And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So the word of the Lord always came from where? Jerusalem. Now look at this. Give me Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Watch this. The word of the Lord came from Jerusalem. I'm showing you Old Testament, then I'm going to show you New Testament. Watch this, O.G. Go ahead. Amos 3 and 1. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Yeah, this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So now I'm in a different book, O.G. Who is he speaking to, O.G.? God spoke to the children Very good. Against the whole family which are brought up from the land of Egypt. Who came out of the land of Egypt, O.G.? The Very good. The you only have a known of all the families of the earth. Did God say he knows everybody? No. no. He said you only. Read. You only have a known of all the families of the earth. Did he say he knows everybody or you only, OG? You only. You only. So wait, so wait. So God says you only. Who is he talking to? The Israelites. He's not talking to other races. Now I'm going to go to another book. Listen, Psalms 147 verse 19. I'm showing you a common theme. Every book you go to, children of Israel, children of Israel, children of Israel, children of Israel, children of Israel. Watch. Listen. The book of Psalms chapter 147 verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. Did he show his word to everybody? Unto Jacob. Who came out of Jacob? The children of Israel. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Unto all people. Unto Israel. Unto everybody. Unto Israel. Unto everybody. Unto Israel. What, what about the other people? Unto Israel. Read. He had not their soul. He had not what? He had not their soul with any nation. So God didn't deal with any nation how he dealt with the children of Israel. He gave the children of Israel his laws. So now, watch this, Ochi. Watch this. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So I read three scriptures in the Old Testament. What name kept coming up? Children of Israel. Now I'm going to go to the New Testament. Go to Matthew 15, 24. Just in case you say, well, brother, because guess what? Ochi, what you just said? I hear it everywhere. Now I'm going to go to the New Testament. I'm going to get to you after him, okay? Go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, Jesus answered and said, I am not 
sent. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I thought Jesus Christ came for everybody. I thought Jesus Christ came for everybody. You said he died for our sins. But guess what? Who was given the laws? The children of Israel. White people didn't know about God's laws. They were worshiping cows. But we were worshiping God. So when he said I died for their sins, who was given the law, Ochi? The law was given to the children of Israel. Very good. So now, oh wait. But the children of Israel, Bible is talking about Israel, Israel, Jesus Christ's death into this world. Yep. And the whole entirety of the world. Yep. Then you go through the Bible, we all at one, as long we have come under the umbrella of Jesus Christ to know him as our Savior. Number eight, Pastor Paul Mackenzie. Pastor Paul Mackenzie is a Kenya preacher that instructed his followers to starve to death in order to meet Jesus with no food or water, which led to the death of more than 400 people. Some reported feeling ill after following his instructions and some had to be hospitalized. This preacher was found guilty and has been in the police custody, which he was arrested following the discovery of hundreds of bodies in a mass grave in the forest area. He was also acquitted for additional charges of influencing children not to attend school and using radical preaching to incite Christians against Hindus and Muslims. Hapana ni ya watu wote wa sehemu hizi za western na kila mahali hata kisi. Okay, so here's my question. Here's my question. Yes. Give me a scripture to prove that Jesus Christ taught all races of people. Give me a Bible scripture yes. that proves Jesus Christ taught all races of people. St. John 3 says, Get it right now. <laughs> Get it right now. We don't play with the Bible, OG. Get the Bible. Get it right now. We don't play. Because what you said to me, I heard in America, I heard in Ghana, I heard in South Africa. Christianity's everywhere. John 3 16. Come on. The book of wait, 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 stop. I want to appreciate this moment. Look, Ochi, oh, I want you to understand something. What you just said, they always say that in America. You know why? Because the white man taught us to say that. But Ochi, oh, we love you and we're going to help you today. Come on. Get John chapter 3, verse 16. So wait, before we begin, listen, listen. Before we begin, Ochi, oh, don't run. Don't run. We're going to catch you. Don't run. Ochi. Oh, Read John 3, 16 for The book was in John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the word. Uh oh, let's pack up. Oh, OG, right up. Oh, we got it wrong. Oh, he loved everybody. Let's see, read on. For God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son. Yep. That whosoever believeth in him. Oh, OG, the devil. Oh, the hands are spreading. The hand, look, Reuben joined in. Fix the mic. Hold on, fix the mic. Hold on, OG, hold on, hold on, OG, hold on, Reuben. OG, listen. Hey, Jeremy, listen to this. Jeremy, Watch this. this. Ruben, listen to this, Ruben. Re refinish it for him. It's messing up again. Go over the game. Bring him back. Church, church. Sorry, sir. I got to manage this. Okay, listen. Yes, sir. Listen. Now, listen, sis, sis, listen, 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 listen. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So I want everybody to listen good. We're going to give you a real understanding of John chapter 3. Verse 16. Before we begin in John 3 16, oh gee, what did Jesus Christ say in John chapter 3, verse 14? For God so loved the world. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh gee, that's verse 16. Yeah. Tell me what verse 14 says. Right. Verse 14? Yes, sir. See right now? You, no, no. You gave me chapter 3, verse 16. I want hold on everybody. Oh gee. Everybody does the same thing. Yeah. Tell me what John chapter 3 verse 14 says. Talk about the love of God. No, no. Ochi, no. Ochi, no. if you don't know, just say, I don't know. I don't want you to just assume. Tell, wait, Ochi, 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 hold on. Ochi, hold on, Ochi, hold on, Ochi, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ochi, hold on. Tell me, do you even know what John chapter 3 verse 14 says? You know what I'm telling you? <laughs> OG, I'm going to ask you a yes or no question Do you even know what John chapter 3 verse 14 says? Say John 3 14 Yes 
Do, I just want you to answer. Do you know what it says? Okay. Ochi, Ochi, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ochi, I want you to be humble. Wait, 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 everybody listen, hold on. Hold on, hold on, listen, listen, listen. Ochi, when you don't know something, it's just say, I don't know. Ochi, do you even know what John chapter 3 verse 14 says? I said, when you read it. Oh, Ochi, 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 hold on, Ochi. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ochi, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ochi, Ochi, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. Hold on, Ochi. Ochi, remember, Ochi, remember. No, 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 Ochi, 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 we're here to help you. I just want you to acknowledge if you know what it means. Wait, 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 listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ochi, do you know what John chapter 3 verse 14 says? I said... You can bring it to my knowledge. I know, but Ochi, do you know what it says? Yes or no? Yes or no? Humble and say, you know what? I don't know. Can you show me? We're gonna show you. Read John chapter 3, verse. That's all we're trying to do, old chief. That's all we're trying to do. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. John chapter 3 verse 14. The book of John chapter 3 verse 14. And as more. Hold on, listen, 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 listen. Verse 14. Hey, hold on, hold on, listen, listen, listen. I want everybody to listen to God's word. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Who was Moses lifting up the serpent in the wilderness to? Who? Who did Mo Read that again for Ochi. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, who did Moses do that to? Now the Israelites. Very good. Read. So wait, are we even talking about other races? Are we even talking about other races? The topic. Keep it in context, right? Are we even talking about other people or Israelites? Very good. Read. Even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up. Christ said, just like Moses was lifted up to the Israelites, even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up. Just like Moses was lifted up to Israel, the Son of Man must be lifted up to who? Israel. Watch, read. That whosoever believeth in him uh -huh. should not perish, but have eternal life. Read verse 16 now. Watch this. So, I went two verses above. What was the topic of conversation? What people? Israeli. Very good. Israeli. Very good. The topic was about Israelites. Christ made a comparison to Moses. Now, here's my question. When Christ was speaking, who was around him? Israelites. Whoa! Very, very good. Israelites. So very good. Very good. So Israelites were around him. Wait, wait. Can me tell you? I want to go in my Bible. Yes. Wait. We got a Bible for you. We got a Bible for you. We, you tried to run. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, don't leave, Ochi. Ochi, we got the Bible for you. We got the Bible for you. You Ochi tried to run. You tried to run. I told you to run. We gonna help you. Hold on, hold on. We gonna help you. Good. I'm gonna help you, Ochi. Ochi, I'm your brother, Ochi. I'm gonna help you find John chapter three. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, huh? I'm looking for qualities of the Bible. I'm not looking for. Yo, that's three verse sixteen. Yes, sir. Three verse sixteen. Three verse sixteen. Listen. Hold on. Listen. Listen. Three verse sixteen. For God so loved the word that He gave. Only begotten son. Okay. So now it says, For God so loved the world. Give me John chapter 18, verse 20. 
Watch this. So write these scriptures down. We're giving you the real understanding of John 3, 16. I'm going to get to you. Let me finish the OG. John chapter 3, verse 16. Sisters, sisters, sisters. Sisters, listen to the word of God. Listen to the word of God. Hold on, we got to finish the OG. Watch. Listen. Listen. John chapter 3, verse 16. Read it again. Right, we got John 3, 16. John 18, 20. Go on. Watch this. Listen good. The book of St. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the word. So everybody loved that because it says the world. Watch this. John chapter 18, verse 20. The book of John chapter 18 and verse 20. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. Oh, gee. Jesus said, I spake openly to the world. Who is that talking about? Don't know where with no time. Uh, read, it, read it again. John chapter 18 and verse 20. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. Who is the world, oh, gee? Read it again. Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. Who's the world, O G? You said what? The universe? No, nope. watch this. I ever thought in the synagogue and in the temple whether the Jews always result. So Christ taught the world of the Jews, not the world of everybody. World does not always mean universe. Guess what? You know George Way, the former president, right? George Wee, right? He was a soccer player, right? Right? Is there something called the sports world? Have you ever heard of that? The sports world, does it deal with animal or sports? Very good. Have you ever heard of the animal world? Does it deal with everybody or animals? World has a context. It does not always mean the universe. Y'all understand me? I'm showing you the proof biblically. Read John 18, 20 again. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I spake openly to the world. I ever thought in the synagogue. Who was in synagogues? Who was in synagogues? Who were in the synagogues? Yeah, who? Watch, read it again for OG. Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. I speak openly to the world. Does that mean the whole world? Watch, really? Look. I have a thought in a synagogue. Who were in the synagogues? Who? Who were in the synagogues? No, who were in the synagogues? Yeah, right. Who were in the synagogues? Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody listen, 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 listen. Listen. Hold on, hold on. They don't teach this in church. How are you going to hear the answer? Listen. Who were in the synagogue? Read the scripture again. Jesus answered him. I spake openly to the world. I spake openly to the world. You said that means everybody, right? Watch this. I ever thought in the synagogue. Who were in the synagogues? I said the word. No, read. And in the temple. Those are doing Jesus day when Jesus was on time. Yeah? Mike, Mike, listen, listen. We had the Jews who are here. We had the Pharisees. We had the Gentiles. These people, when Jesus was going about teaching everywhere, Jesus also touched the Gentile. But wait, 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 wait. I didn't get there yet. I'm just asking who were in the synagogues. That's all I want to know. Those that were in the synagogues, well, I said it, it was both. The Romans, no, no, it wasn't both. It wasn't both. Very good. The Israelites were. Who were in synagogues? It, read that again. Listen. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue. I ever taught in the, look, OG. I ever taught in the synagogues. Who were in the synagogues? Jews, Israelites, read. And in the temple. Who were in the temples? In Jerusalem, who was in the temples? 
Both people were bad. It was not both people. What's okay? What scripture says it was both people? Both people were What scripture says it was both people? Luke 11 43. Wait, wait, Luke 11 43? Yeah. Get Luke 11 43 now. Get Luke 11 43. Listen, listen, listen. 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 Well, listen, listen, listen. 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 Listen, everybody, listen. 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 You said Luke 11 43? Listen. The book of Luke chapter 11. You said, read, where am I stopping? What's the point? When you read it, okay, read it, read it. The book of Luke chapter 11 and verse 43. Woe unto you, Pharisees, for you love the uppermost seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are great, which appear not, and men that walk over them are not aware of them. Then answered one of the lawyers and said unto him, Master, thus say thou reproachest us also. Okay. What's the point? Yes, sir. And Jesus said, Woe unto you, Pharisees. Yep. Woe unto you, strife. Yep. Know who Jesus is talking today? That people that carry the word of God. Yep. People that hear the word, the interpretation, the teaching of Jesus, and they did not take it seriously, they carry it over and interpret it another way. So Jesus said, Woe unto you. Number 7, Prophet Latebo Rabalago, also known as Prophet of Doom, is a South African pastor who claims a pesticide called Doom can heal people. The company that produced Doom one of the risks of spraying the substance and also the government commission urged anyone affected to lodge complaints. But this so-called Prophet Latebo who runs the Mount Zion General Assembly was seen spraying the insecticide directly into the eyes and various body parts of his congregants. He said that Doom is just a name but when you speak to it, it becomes a healing product. People who have supposedly been healed by doom testified and it has been posted. This preacher also claimed that the spray can heal cancer and HIV. Now, wow, what is really going on in this world? So, hold on. So, you're saying the Jews rejected Jesus? You're saying the Jews rejected Jesus? The Jews? They, they never rejected Jesus. That's why other brothers in John 3, verse 17. So we're going back to John 3, 16. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back to John 3, 16. Listen. 17. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. We didn't finish 16. We didn't finish 16. Read it again. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. 17. For God so loved the world. So now, it says, for God so loved the world. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, it says, for God so loved the world. Ochi, Ochi, listen. Listen. Quiet down, quiet down. Listen. Listen, Ochi, it says, for God so loved the world. You said it means everybody. It doesn't. Read this. For God so loved the world that his gift is only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now go to John 18, 20. Now I'm going to show you, you don't understand what it means. Watch. John 18, 20. Listen. The book of St. John, chapter 18, verse 20. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I spake openly to the world. What world was he talking about? Read. I never thought in the synagogue and in the temple, whether the Jews always resort. Whether the Jews always resort. So the world around Christ was a world of who? Jews. Jews. It wasn't white people. Now, go to Isaiah 45, 17. Listen close. Everything we say, we go to a scripture. Listen. Christ said the world of the Jews. I ever taught in the synagogues where the Jews always resort. Listen. The book of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. Come on. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So who's going to be saved in the Lord? Israel. Israel. Read. <laughs> Ye shall not be ashamed. Who can, who's not going to be ashamed? Israelites. Read. Nor confounded. Word without end. Israel is a what? Word without end. Israel is a what? Word without end. Israel is a what? Word without end. Go back to John 18.20. The book of St. John chapter 18 and verse 20. And Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the word, uh -huh. and I was taught in the synagogue uh -huh. and in the temple. Whether the Jews always result. Now 
Now what? Go back to John chapter 3, verse 16. Now I got another question for you. Now look. Isaiah 45, 17 said, Israel is a world without end. John 18, 20 said, I taught in synagogue and the temple, whether the Jews always resort. He said, I spake openly to the world. World does not always mean everybody. It has a context. Watch. Read this. The book of St. John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. Now stop. Who did God love? The world. So wait. Read it again for him. Come, come. Watch, watch. Look, read along with us. Watch this, watch this. Look at John 3.16, look. The book of St. John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. Notice it said loved. How is it spelled? Love or loved? No, look at it. It's, it doesn't say that. John 3.16. This is why I want you to read along. So you read what it says. You answered it wrong. That shows me you don't understand what John 3.16 says. It doesn't say love, L-O-V. How does it say? For God so loved the world. And it's L-O-V what? L-O-V-E-D. Very good. L-O-V-E-D means past tense. Who did God love in the past? He loved the word. Who did God love in the past? Israel loved the word. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Who did God love in the past? Israel loved the word. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, chief. You answered it wrong. Oh, chief. Who did God love in the past? God loved the word in the past. Show me where in the Bible it says he loved the world in the past. I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to read it for you. Now, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. Watch. Watch. Listen. Listen. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. Listen. Can you listen? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ochi, don't run. Do not run, Ochi. Don't run. Ochi, in the past, what scripture shows us who, hold on. Listen. 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 Listen, listen, Ochi, with Bible scripture, who did God love in the past? The word. What Bible scripture gives us the name? What? No, wait, past means Old Testament. Where in the Old Testament can I read about who God loved? In the Old Testament? Yes. Read Isaiah 9, 6. Wait, what? Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah 9, 6 doesn't say that. Let's go to it. Isaiah 9 and 6 is going to tell us who God loved? Is it going to tell us who God loved? Read it first. Is it going to tell us who God loved? Yes or no? Read it. Yes or no? I gave you a straight job. I just want you to answer yes or no. Yes or no? Yes. He don't want to say it. Read this. The book of Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Remember, my question was, give me scripture who God loved in the past. You said it's this. It better be the answer. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. So wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on. Now listen. 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 Here's the question. Here's my question. Hold on, Ruben, Ruben. Listen, Ruben, Ruben, listen. Listen, here's the question. Here's the question. Where in the... Listen, Ruben. Just listen, Ruben. Don't entertain him. Just listen. Where in that scripture told us who God loved? Where in the scripture told us who God loved? Where does it tell us who God loved? Did it tell us? Did it tell us? Now, wait, did it tell us who God loves? Thank you. Now give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Now I'm going to give you the right answer. You didn't pull the right scripture. You pulled the wrong one. The book of Deuteronomy. Wait, listen. Listen. Hold on, listen. Read. A child is born. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6. Now we're going to show everybody you don't know the word of God. For thou and holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Has chosen thee? Who's to be? Who's most Microphone. To? You said why Who's microphone? Check, check, check. Oh, praise Who's to be? Who was Moses? Take it up, take it up. Who's to be? Who 
who was Moses talking to? Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. For thou art a holy people. Lord our God. It says, For thou art a holy people. Listen, listen, listen. So you can get the answer. Read it again. Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people. Who's the thou that's a holy people? Who's he talking to? Read it again. For thou, I'm going to go to chapter one, verse one. Oh, gee, who's he talking to? Who's he talking to? The people of Israel. Who's he talking to? Read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter one, verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Now go to chapter seven, verse six. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou and holy people. Who is the thou? Very good. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Who did God choose? Very good. To be a special people. Who's the special people? Very good. Unto himself. Above all people. Equal. Above. Equal. Above. what it says. He's talking to the Israelites. Watch what it says in verse 7. The Lord did not set his law. His what? The Lord did not set his law. His what? His law. His what? His law. It said for God so loved E.D. Now I went to the past scripture to show you who he loved. Who he loved. Who he loved. Read it again. The Lord then I said the Lord upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. Read. For ye were the fewest of all people. Read. But because the Lord loved you. Who is he talking to? He's speaking for the Israelites. Hold on, Reuben. Listen, so you can learn. He's speaking to who, sister? Who is he speaking to? The Israelites. Now go to John 3.16. I went to the past scripture. Come on. Is the world. Who did he love in the past? The Israelites. Who is he the God of? Very good. Give me Luke 168. Who is he the God of? Ochi. Hold on. Hold on. Just wait. Let me finish Ochi. Who is he the God of? Read. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. It says, Blessed be the Lord what? scriptures before. So just listen to the word of God. Listen. Read it again. The book of Luke chapter 1 and verse 8. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Who is God the God of? Who is God the God of? What did it say? Who is God the God of? Oh, you afraid to say it? Read it again. Luke Chapter 1 and verse 68. Come on. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Did it say God of the whole world? The God of Israel. Did it say God of the whole world? God of Israel. He's not the God of all races. 
He's the God of Israel. Right. He's the God of Israel. He's the God of Israel. Read. And has visited and redeemed his people. Did it say all people? No. It said what? His people. Does his people mean everybody? No. If I take his shoe, does that belong to me or him? Very good. What did it just say? His people. Doesn't mean everybody. It means his people. Back to John 3.16. The book is in John. Does the Bible contradict itself? No. So watch this now. Give me Romans 9.13. Give me Romans 9.13. Listen. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen, listen. Sister, all you got to do is just be patient. That's all you got to do is be patient. You got to wait. You got to wait. You got to wait. Listen, because guess what? Guess what? You don't do this in church. You show them respect in church. So show your brothers respect. And just wait. So don't say anything. Wait. Listen. Listen. Watch. Listen. Read. The book of Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it's written. Listen good. Listen good. Listen good. Listen good. Listen good. Listen good. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Listen. Listen. Read. As it is written, Jacob, our Lord, but Isa, our heaven. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Notice I asked a question. Notice I asked a question. I said, does the Bible contradict itself? No. No. Does the Bible contradict itself? No. So now, you pull John 3.16. I showed you God is the God of Israel. The world is the world of Israel. The love in the past is he loved Israel. Now, listen to this now. You quoted John 3.16. But listen to this. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have a love. God loved Jacob. Read. But Esau have a hated. What did the Bible just say? But Esau have a hated. What did the Bible just say? But Esau have a hated. I thought God loves everybody. Yes. Read it again. But Esau have a hated. I thought God loves everybody. Read it again. But Esau have a hated. I thought God loves everybody. Read it again. But Esau have a hated. God can't love everybody if he just said he hates Esau. God doesn't love everybody. Read it again. But Esau have I hated. The Bible says, but Esau have I hated. What are we showing you? John 3.16. You don't understand what it means. John 3.16 always was talking about the Israelites. It was never talking about anybody else. It was only the Israelites. But you thought it was the whole world. It was never the whole world. It was the world of the Israelites. 
Give me Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. You said John 3, 16. Read this. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 26. And he that overcometh and keep him watch. Listen, listen, listen. Gotta, I say, battery. Okay. So listen. Listen to what the Bible says. Listen to what the Bible says. Give me Acts chapter 2 verse 21. Give me Acts chapter 2 verse 21. He said, what does it mean by whosoever? We're going to explain it right now. Acts 2 verse 21. The book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Who is he talking to when he said that? Read. Ye men of Asia, ye men of Asia, hear these words. Who is he talking to? <laughs> very good. Read it again. Very good. Very good. Read it again. He said it says whosoever. Acts two twenty one. Acts chapter two and verse twenty one. And it shall come to pass that whosoever. Who is the whosoever talking about? Who's 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 the whosoever talking about, Papa? Are you crazy? Or just plain stupid? Stupid as stupid does, Mrs. Blue. I guess. Listen, read. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. It says, Ye men of Israel, hear these words. He was talking to Israelites. He was talking to Israelites. He was talking to Israelites. He wasn't talking. Was he talking to everybody? Was he talking to everybody? No. Was he talking to everybody? Read it again. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, ye had his word. So he wasn't talking to everybody. He was talking to the Israelites. He was talking to the Israelites. You never understood John 3.16. I'm glad you're writing it down. You thought whosoever means everybody. No. He was talking to read it again. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Asia. Ye men of who? Ye men of Asia. Ye men of everybody. Ye men of Asia. Ye men of everybody. Ye men of Asia. Hear these words. He said, hear these words. So the Bible teaches that Jesus Christ was only talking to Israelites. But you've been misinformed. You learned that God loves everybody. So, you say God loves everybody? Watch this now. Give me Revelation 2, 26. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to so him we have given power over the nations. It says, whosoever overcome. Hey, hold on, listen, 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 listen. Quiet, listen, listen, listen. I want you to listen now. Revelation chapter 2. Listen. This is the power of Christianity. I want y'all to see this is the power of white man teaching. This is why Liberia is poor. Because you believe the white man. You believe every word. If you think it's talking about white people, why are you in poverty? White man taught you he loves everybody. But look at what the white man taught you. Look at what the white man taught you. If it's talking about everybody, look. Look. If it's talking about everybody, where did this come from? Where did this come from? If it's talking about everybody, who taught this? Who taught this? What race taught this? Very good. What race taught that? What race taught this? Hold on, listen, listen, no, no, listen, listen. What race taught this? That white men get made to prove to the world to teach other people that yes, indeed, the Jesus Christ man we talk about it is true. He kicked into the world. What color? What color is Jesus Christ? Wait, what color? What color is Jesus Christ? What color is Jesus? Do you have the identity of Christ? What? Yes. What color? Do you have the? Yes. What color is Jesus?
Jesus. What color is Jesus? Give me first John 4 and 1. Give me first John 4 and 1. Remember what we said earlier. White people taught that Jesus is Caucasian, but nobody challenged them. But when black people teach Jesus Christ is black, I need to see proof. That's called slave. Lom Israel, Mosin Christ bless. Scan that QR code that you all see on the screen. Because guess what? We trying to push this truth toward the four corners of the earth. Let's push this truth toward the four corners of the earth, man. Stop playing games. Make sure you subscribe to all our channels. We pushing the truth. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Woo! Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.